During the 1960s, a revolution occurred that had a lasting impact on society, the emergence of the miniskirt. This bold and provocative piece of clothing emerged as a disruptive force in the fashion scene, captivating the imagination of women and challenging established social norms. With its daringly raised hemline above the knee, the miniskirt became a powerful symbol of emancipation, individuality, and female rebellion. This iconic statement in fashion not only redesigned women's wardrobes worldwide but also played a crucial role in initiating a cultural revolution. It is widely believed that British designer Mary Quant was responsible for the emergence of the miniskirt. It was in the mid-1960s that Quant launched a short and audacious skirt that triggered a true revolution in the fashion industry. She boldly defied the conservative styles that prevailed at the time, where skirts were mostly knee-length or longer. The miniskirt created by Quant, which sat several inches above the knee, represented a daring break from tradition, reflecting the spirit of a generation hungry for change. The popularity of the miniskirt skyrocketed, perfectly capturing the spirit of the 1960s. It became a reflection of changing attitudes towards gender roles, sexual liberation, and female empowerment. The emergence of feminism and the women's rights movement played a significant role in the acceptance and adoption of the miniskirt as a symbol of independence and female agency. The miniskirt challenged the notion that women should conform to societal expectations, providing them with a newfound sense of freedom to express their personal style. It represented a powerful statement that women could own their own image and defy established norms. The miniskirt not only revolutionized fashion at the time but also became a lasting symbol of the struggle for gender equality and women's autonomy. In August 1961, Life magazine featured a striking image of two University of Hawaii students in Seattle wearing skirts above the knee, known as Kuki Mews. The magazine noted a new trend among teenagers, a fashion of short skirts pushing hemlines up well above the knee. The article also highlighted fashionable young girls in San Francisco wearing skirts with hems just above the kneecap. Additionally, it showcased Vanderbilt University students wearing skirts that brushed the knees and ended three inches above them, especially for golfing. The caption of the image noted that these short skirts were being well-received in the South, mentioning that some Atlanta girls were cutting old skirts to make them thigh-high. In the summer of 1962, extremely short skirts, some even 20 centimeters above the knee, began to be seen in Britain. The young women who embraced these short skirts became known as Yaya Girls, a term derived from Ya, yeah, Ya, yeah, which was popular at the time. A retailer noted that the fashion of layered crinoline petticoats further contributed to raising the hemlines of the short skirts. In the early 1960s, the standard length of skirts for every day in designer clothing was at mid-knee, just covering that region. Over the following years, skirt hemlines began to gradually rise, fully exposing the knees of conventional models in 1964 when Andre Correges and Mary Quant introduced above-the-knee lengths in their designs. The following year, the trend of short skirts continued to soar when British miniskirts were officially introduced in the United States at a fashion show in New York. The models with thigh-high skirts caused a sensation and even disrupted traffic. In the year 1966, many skirt designs featured hemlines at the upper thigh. Suspender stockings, which were impractical with mini skirts, were replaced with colorful stockings. Legs could also be covered with knee-high stockings or various heights of boots. During the period from 1964 to 1965, calf-high boots were popular, followed by knee-high boots. Later, from 1967 to 1969, boots above the knee and even thigh-high boots emerged, as well as hosiery boots or bodysuits, which combined a shoe sole and heel, forming a high-waisted boot, often made of stretchy vinyl. Sandals could have straps or laces that crossed or went up the legs, even reaching thigh height. Additionally, for a while, body paintings were offered as a more individualized way to add color to the legs instead of wearing stockings. In the late 1960s, an even shorter version of the skirt emerged, known as a microskirt or miniskirt. Several designers are recognized as pioneers in creating the miniskirt during the 1960s, with notable mentions to London-based designer Mary Quant and Parisian designer André Correges. While Quant is often credited with naming the skirt after her favorite car brand, 
the Mini, there is no consensus on who actually designed it first. Fashion expert Valerie Steele noted that the evidence more convincingly supports the claim that Quant was the first to popularize the miniskirt. However, contemporary fashion journalist Marit Allen, who edited the influential Young Ideas pages for British Vogue, categorically stated that British designer John Bates was the first to introduce miniskirts in fashion. Other designers such as Pierre Cardin and Yves Saint Laurent also raised skirt hemlines during the same period, contributing to the spread of the miniskirt trend. As with any significant cultural change, the miniskirt was the subject of controversy. Critics argued that the garment was inappropriate, indecent, and objectified women. It sparked debates on modesty, morality, and social norms. However, its defenders firmly believed that the miniskirt was a form of self-expression and a rejection of oppressive norms, embracing the freedom to choose how to dress. The legacy of the miniskirt extends beyond the 1960s. Its impact is still felt in contemporary fashion. The miniskirt paved the way for greater freedom in women's clothing choices, inspiring subsequent generations of designers and fashion enthusiasts to explore new possibilities. Its influence can be seen in the diversity of lengths, silhouettes, and styles that continue to grace runways and streets around the world. The miniskirt has become a lasting symbol of female empowerment and a manifestation of the evolution of social norms regarding fashion and individual freedom.